If you want to know how to make a radio system so you can blast off your vibing music or whatever you want, make sure to watch the video all the way to the end to find out how to. Hey guys, and welcome back to this brand new video on my channel. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a radio system. Because... Um, I was just bored and made a radio system and was like, okay, sure, let's make a tutorial on it. If you're new to the channel, make sure to like and subscribe for epic pogified epic gamer content. And if you want to become a member, make sure to click the blue join button down below. This video is suggested by myself. Very pogger. So we don't even need anything. We only need, like, two local scripts and some GUI designing. What we're going to do is we're going to make a local script in here. Uh, screen GUI 2 a local script and another local script which you put in your screen GUI like this You're gonna name this script the user input service Because yes Now what we can do is local user Input service is equal to game calling get service user input service like that local player is the game to player so local player user input surface that input begun colon connect function key if key dot key code is equals equals to enum dot key code dot r because r is going to be our radio key code then if player the player gy the radio that frame visible is equals to equals equals to true then I'm gonna copy this equals to false and else equals to true. Like that. Now you're gonna rename this to the radio. This is going to be our main executor. And let's start with the UI design. We need a frame, we need a text button, and we need a sound. This is going to be our main sound. Yes, yes, yes. We're gonna be using some epic gamer content. I'm just going to make it fairly simple. Like that. I'm just going to make it pretty easy. What? Like that. I'm just going to make it with a UI corner along with over here. It's going to be a 50. I'm going to put it just over here. And with the text radio. Like that. And now we put, need to put a text box two times. Text box two times. This is going to be our ID input. And our volume input. Because we need that. So um, this is going to be our volume input. Which is going to be over here. I'm going to make them quickly red, so we know what we're doing. Uh, why are you not red? Huh? What are you? Oh, okay, I get it. This one's going to be over here. And we're just going to put ID here. Volume here. Yes, we're gonna do that. Let's see. We need um, three buttons: a play, a pause, and a stop. I'm gonna quickly put them over here. Play, pause, stop. Yes. I'm just gonna make them bluish. Play, pause, and stop. Now I'm just going to make like everything in a UI corner because I love UI corners like that. So now this is your little GUI. I'm going to kind of add in the final thing, which is a this. And I'm just going to call it radio. So after we name it radio, we're going to be coding it. 
So in your local script, you're gonna type script parent the text button, dot mouse click, click connect function like that. Script the parent dot frame dot visible is equals to not script the parent dot frame dot visible. You wanna put the visibility off. Now we're gonna type script dot parent dot frame dot play dot mouse button one click click connect function. Local number is equals to and then in those speech marks, rbx asset id colon slash slash dot dot script dot parent dot frame dot id input dot text. And does it work? Yeah, probably. Script dot parent dot sound colon stop. Wait 0 0.5. Gotta wait for 0 0.5 seconds. Script dot parent dot sound dot id input. Uh, sound ID is equals to number. Gonna wait a second so Roblox can load it in. Script dot parent dot sound colon play, and script dot parent dot sound dot looped equals to true. Script dot parent dot frame dot stop. Stop mouse button one click colon connect function. If I'm going too fast, just slow down. And we're just gonna immediately force stop the sound by saying colon stop. Now, we gotta do something probably uh, hardish. Script the parent dot frame dot pause dot mouse button one click colon connect function. And now we're gonna do if script dot parent dot sound dot is paused because you can track that equals equals to true. So if it is paused, then script the parent dot sound colon resume. We're gonna resume it. And script the parent dot uh, frame dot pause dot text is equals to pause. Now we're just gonna do that. If it's not, then we're gonna do else if script dot parent dot sound dot is pause equals equals to false, like this. Then script dot parent dot sound colon uh, pause and script dot parent dot frame dot pause dot text is equals to resume. Now we're gonna do the hardest partish. They're kind of annoying. Local volume input is equals to script dot parent dot frame dot volume input and and we're gonna do local ID input is equals to script dot parent dot frame dot ID input which is uh, this one these two we're defining these two so now say volume input colon get property changed signal text colon connect function we're just gonna track if the is the value is changed if two number Volume input dot text. So if it is a number, then the script dot parent dot sound dot volume is going to be volume input dot text. And else it is not a number. Because if it's not a number, then we are not gonna do anything at all. Because why? ID input colon get property changed signal text. And we can colon connect function. And if to number id input dot text uh, then so if it is a number then we gotta do some, something script dot parent dot sound dot sound id is equals to rbx asset id colon slash slash i uh, dot dot i id input dot text I'm gonna wait a second for it to play script dot parent dot sound colon play. And script apparent that sound that looped is equal to true and else is, is not a number. So this is your entire script done. Let's continue. Let's continue. So if we press R, it's gonna be visible. Now if we put some sound in it, like have the like blah, 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 it's not gonna play anything because it's not a number. If you would look, pause, nothing really much. If you do volume, it's going to be 5. If you would get an actual ID, it is going to work. Yes, it will work. Let me test that out. So I just tested it out and it worked successfully. So if you did enjoy this video, to make sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you did enjoy, do those, yes. And, um, and I always say, my name is Newbie. Cause yes, and I say peace out folks.